What's up, guys? And welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Roller Coaster Tycoon. Uh, hope you guys are all doing well today. Um, we've got a couple things on our agenda for today. First off, I want to make sure we get another roller coaster. So I'm actually going to uncheck everything except roller coasters. Um, you guys can see that our basic pier is getting pretty crowded. We don't have room for too much more on it. So I'm okay with not adding... <clears throat> excuse me. Not adding too much more to it. We did get bumper cars last episode, so we will be adding that. Um, but I don't think there's room for too much more. So we're going to kind of just focus on coasters from here on out. Uh, so hopefully we get one of those soon. Um, one thing to note here is if you want to... I'm wanting to do like an alternate color scheme so every other boat has a different color. If you go ahead and set it to all in same colors first and then give that color scheme... It'll apply to all boats. Um, so from that point on, you just have to invert the ones that you want inverted. So I'm just going to do every every other one here. So, okay, so I mentioned last time uh, we have, I think, bumper cars to build. Uh, we just got our pizza stall, so we'll add that where we can. We'll probably add two or three of those throughout the park. And then... I'm thinking, since we have so much money, and since our objective is based around um, something financially related, which is the park value, I might go ahead and explain the finances tab. We're in our fourth park here. Fourth park? Yeah, fourth park. And I haven't really covered that yet. I've been doing stuff in it, but I haven't really covered it. So, um, also, I named last episode a better name or I name my episodes typically around what they're based on or what the content of them is. A lot of times, that's the name of a ride. Um, oh, man, I hate when this happens. If you take your cursor out of this area, I'm going to click on the ride. There we go. Get it back. Mirror, mirror on the lake. Sort of like mirror, mirror on the wall, but it's on the lake. So, again, if I get any better names that are reflection-based, I will, I will consider them. But for now, I think that'll work. So... Okay, that's what I wanted to do for that. Let's go ahead and get those pizza stalls built. Did we build fries already? Is that something we did? Did we start with fries? I think we did. It's hard to see with this menu blocking half my screen. Yeah, okay, we did. So let's stick with this. We'll go ahead and lower this into the ground and replace that awful bench. There we go. Oh, so just a random little thing while I'm doing this. So yesterday I was I was a little bored. I was on my phone just looking at random stuff. I got on Facebook for a bit, and Facebook I don't like where it's where it's gone. It's nothing but you know videos and random garbage on there nowadays. Um, but anyway, I was looking at one of those videos amongst all the random garbage, and it was a video of a. Um, I guess it was, I don't know if he was currently or it was f a former, but he was a either current or former uh, Navy SEAL. And he's giving some speech at what looked like a college graduation or something. And um, his entire speech started with, um, basically, if you want to be successful, do anything in life. Start the day by making your bed. And I thought that was kind of interesting. It's, he was talking about, you know, you, you accomplish one small task to start your day. And it basically propels you forward to do more productive tasks. You've already tackled one. What's stopping you from doing a second, a third, a fourth? Um, and so today, I made my bed. I haven't done that in I don't even know how long. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. Um What just happened? Oh my goodness, 14 people have died in an accident on claustrophobia. That is not good. Um I'm expecting my park rating to drop in a hurry. Oh my goodness. What happened? I'm assuming the brakes gave out, but 
Station brake failure. Yep. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so um, that can happen in your parks, guys. It's not good at all. Oh man, do I have to demolish part of it? And yeah, the mechanic already fixed it. No, I have it closed. That's how you get your second car back. But now we're going to see anyone that tries going on this thing. It's not safe. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay, we're actually going to modify this ride real quick. Um, man, I can't believe that happened. We're going to just put some brakes right here. Because if the station brakes uh, fail, these should still work. So. And then we'll just do a normal forward piece here. I don't know if it counts them as the same if they're attached to each other, so I always like to leave a little bit of a gap right there, so that way these brakes act independently of these. Oh, man. Let's get that thing tested. I don't know if I can with it being set to adjacent. Oh, well, it'll run eventually. Yeah, so no one's going to want to go on this thing for a little while. I don't know how long it takes to recover from something like that. But you're going to see a lot more of this. That's three. Someone can't find it. What's going on with that? Okay, so you guys have just witnessed um, our first casualty in this game. Uh, that certainly... Oh, please don't be station brake failure. Vehicle malfunction. Okay. Oh man, now I'm all paranoid. <laughs> okay, um, man, that just totally derailed my train of thought. Okay, let's build. Um, man, I feel I feel bad for those guys, those fourteen guests. That's th uh, that's awful. We might build a, a memorial for them somewhere in this park. Um, okay, sorry, I'm trying to get back on track here. Um, okay, so I still want to build all my entrances off of basic pier for my basic rides and the only spot that's really left is kind of out here um, I found this spot and we're able to put the entrance right here and we could run the entrance over here but the exit I could make it go up and over and it would look hideous though and I really don't want to do that so actually No, we'll have them exit over here. That's another thing. I mentioned um, something about transport rides being a good way of moving people from one part of your ride or your park to another. You can also just have a ride where the entrance is on one portion of your park and the exit is on another. Just like I'm doing here. So this, they enter here and they exit onto this walkway. So that saves them from walking quite a ways um, so that's another way to get people moving around your park and that should be able to clear that yes it does awesome is this mechanic the one assigned this area yes he is perfect that's an easy fix oh man I am still like worked up over that crash that is crazy. We're going to turn the music off on this. Again, it's too close to our our serene, our beautiful mirror, mirror on the lake music. But yeah, I do like this different paint paint job. Some are black, some are white. I think that looks cool. Okay, let's open this thing up. We already did that. <laughs> See what I'm talking about? I'm all out of whack right now. Um, dollar fifty is fine. Two seventy one, that's good. I need to paint it in honor of that ride just crashing. We're going to build a very somber ride here. Black on black on black on black. Hmm. Yeah. 
in honor of the 14 individuals who died on claustrophobia. Well, that's good, though. People are starting to ride it again. Okay. Why is no one on Haunted Mansion? Something more thrilling. I'm going to drop the price to 10 cents, just because. Not like we need the money. All right, do we have... Ooh. Whoa, we got a ride? Did I miss that? What was that? It would help if I stopped on the correct tab. Inverted roller coaster. Awesome. Okay, we're going to change this back to... Oh, what? I guess it doesn't let us... Why is that grayed out? I'm trying to remember why this is grayed out. I think it does that if... Because I know I started this um, park by saying that, oh, look, we've got the Fry's doll, like, right off right off the bat. You know, and Diamond Heights, we played for three years, and we didn't get the Fry's doll. It's because there's predetermined items that go with each park. And so if I've already unlocked, including the bobsled coaster that's currently in development, um, if I've already unlocked all of those for this park, it's not going to let me build i'm trying to click right now it's not letting me uh search for roller coasters so it would probably start giving me other things anyway so okay is there anything else we needed to take care of before we start on this coaster i don't think i had anything planned uh, i just see a broken light post real quick oh yeah i wanted to cover um i wanted to cover the finances tab real quick so we'll go over that very briefly here so this is the finance tab. Um, there's four or five different tabs you can do here. Um, and this basically just breaks down all of your different expenses by month uh, and then the total for each month. So I lost money in September, but that's because I think I was building this beauty over here, Mirror Mirror on the Lake. I think that's why I lost money that month. Um, but you can see ride construction costs. I spent a lot of money on that. Um, it costs money to operate a ride. It's not a ton for my entire park. It's under $400 a month. Well, until April. Uh, land purchase. That's if you buy land to expand your park. Doesn't matter which type. Landscaping. Anything done by the land adjustment or the water tool. Um, ride ticket or park entrance tickets. We have a free entrance. That's self-explanatory. Ride tickets. That's how much it costs to ride a ride. Shop sales, the profits from this, uh, the shops and stalls, and shop stock. That's a different one, um, or not so obvious one. So if you look at the finance tab on any stall, it'll show you your profit per item sold. So I'm selling it for 90 cents, but for each, for every 90 cents, I'm only making 50 cents because it costs 40 cents per ice cream to create that ice cream. Um, so for everyone sold, I'm losing 40 cents and gaining 50 cents. So, or gaining 90 cents, but my net profit is 50 cents. So that's what the shop stock, it's always going to be negative because if anyone buys any item, I'm going to lose money in that category. Um, that's the same for food and drink, or I guess I just explained food and drink sales and stock, shop sales and stock. It's the exact same thing just for an umbrella cost, which would be shop stock versus an ice cream cone, which would be food or drink stock. Uh, staff wages, that's how much it costs per month. 35 per month per handyman, 55 for a mechanic, 45 for security, and 40 for an entertainer. Um, marketing, we'll get there eventually. And research, that's the 400 per month I'm spending uh, on R&D, research and development. And then loan interest, if you have a loan taken out, it will you will incur a monthly fee as you pay that back. So, sorry to take a sip of water there real quick. Okay, so this is your current cash minus your loan. Um, so we have zero loan. If we had a $1,000 loan out, this would be $1,000 less than the money we actually have. 
But since we have no loan anymore, you can sh see we have slowly been making money. And you can see the the dips in our income are when we built big rides. So this is when we built um, Hylophobia. And then this is when we built Mirror on the Lake. So, or Mirror, Mirror on the Lake. Um, this is a tab I probably should have covered much sooner. Uh, this actually shows our park rating, or park value, which is what our objective is based on. Uh, park value of at least 20,000. Um, so our park value is currently at 22,000. So we have that, we have that met. So we just need to keep building coasters and hope nothing crashes horribly again. And we should be all set. So it's slowly but steadily been rising and falling, but in a net positive direction. So that's a good thing. Uh, and then weekly profit. I don't know why you really need this tab. It's not that important, but it breaks it down by month or by week. And there's four weeks per month in this game, just like most months in real life. Um, but yeah, not a super useful tab. And this tab, I will actually get to... Uh, I will save until we actually use it. Um, it is a marketing campaign tab. Um, I will show you guys what that is when we use it, but it's actually pretty cool. So you have that to look forward to, I guess. Okay, enough of that. Let's build a coaster. Oh, we have options now. An inverted? Let's look at these real quick. That looks pretty awesome. See, so you're like suspended. Uh, inverted roller coaster track has a square section steel spine connected to the inside edges of tubular steel running rails. Supports are a large square section steel posts. Trains hang underneath the track, held in position by wheels above, uh, below, and outside the running rails. Okay, an inverted roller coaster feels more intense and exciting than a sit down roller coaster due to the exposed feeling the riders have with their feet dangling below them and the lack of a car around them. Okay, so that does nothing for... Thanks for the tip, game. But there's a lot of cool parts you can... Cool, like, special pieces you can do. You can do a normal loop. You can do a half loop. A large loop. Helix, bank twist, corkscrew. That's cool. Okay, and then the other option we've got is a bobsled. Um, we're going we're gonna to build the inverted one. We'll save the bobsled for another time. Uh, so let's take a look at the pre-built one here, just so we can see how it's kind of designed. Okay, so this looks like it has one giant drop, and then it just kind of goes crazy and is all over the place. Okay, cool. So lots of loops, lots of, lots of crazy. I could do crazy. Uh, where is a good spot for this one? Just from a visual standpoint, I think building it right here is our best bet. We could do the station along the, the pier here, or the walkway, uh, which I still need a name for. So if you guys have a name for that, again, let me know. I would love to hear your suggestions. Mm, I'm trying to think because I'm trying to think more than just this ride. I'm trying to think the next ride as well because we're halfway through year three at this point. Um, this might be a longer episode. I don't want to leave this episode unfinished without having built this. So if you guys can't tell, I like making my station platforms 12 long almost always. So... Okay, so this one can't do steep, um, steep drop or steep inclines with chains, but that's okay. This thing is going to be plenty intense. I have a feeling. Ooh, I wonder if I could, if I can drop and go under that, that would be pretty cool. That's probably not going to happen though. Oh man, this is. I always get carried away when I build these, and it's so easy to just get way too intense. So, that might be what I'm doing. But, okay, let's let's see what we can do here. So we can do 
a half loop, which got to get rid of this tree, a half loop, or we can do a vertical loop. Those are the normal loops like we've seen on like a steel, a steel coaster, or we could do a large half loop. Oh my goodness. That goes up to 24. That's happening guys. <laughs> We're going to take this up to at least this thing can go high. 20. No, we'll go a little higher than that. Except now we're going to go back this direction. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is intense. I don't know if I'll clear this. No, I won't. So we're actually going to drop it one here, just so we have... So we can kind of get around that. Um, yeah, that'll work. And then we'll turn it down there. That, how cool would that be? <laughs> I'm just rem uh, getting reminded of like rides I've been on that look kind of like this. And oh my gosh, are they fun. Okay, and then we'll do a large loop. Oh, that's so sweet. And that goes up to 25, so that should clear it. Oh my gosh, how cool is that? <laughs> that is insane. I might build this and it's going to just be like insanely crazy intense. There's a good chance of that happening. But I'm going to try not to do that. Okay, so now we're at 18. Started at 28. Mm, no, we'll go the other direction here. So we'll spin to the left. I'm wanting to try and go back through the loop. I think that would be pretty cool. And I think we'll be able to do just that. Oh, look at this. The supports are just all over the place. What are we running into here? Okay, so we need to bring that. I might not be able to do a helix down there. Can I clear that? No, so these take a little bit more than, I think, two things of clearance because your feet would be, you're below the track instead of above it. So I think that has some influence on that. Can I do it? He looks down small. That's not even an option for this ride. Okay, that's fine. I need to find a way to get this back down without just killing people with the intensity that most likely will be present. So yeah, there's a good chance this could just be extremely intense and no one will like it. But, you know, that's a, uh, it's a risk we must take. I always seem to get slightly carried away when I do these. Just because you have so many fun toys to play with. Which end? Okay, yeah, we'll go this direction. So we're actually going to put some some brakes here. Just because I don't want it to be... I don't know. I don't know how fast we're going to be going here. And I'm kind of worried about it. And we shall... Man, that just looks... Menacing. <laughs> for lack of a better word. Okay, so we need to get down to six. I think we can do that. Oh, I forgot. This is something we can do. Um, actually, we'll get rid of these because this is going to be way less cool if I do. Okay, so normally you would rotate this all the way around. So I know I'm not speaking complete thoughts here. So this is an inline twist. It's basically, it just 
twists the track. So write one piece, it twists it 180 degrees. You need to add two pieces to get them right side up. However, you can spin them and then go off of that with a corkscrew or a loop or something. So, oh yeah, this is awesome. This is going to be probably way too intense, but I kind of wanted to see what happens just for the sake of sake of the ride. Okay, we're going to test this real quick. Um, like I said, I am not anticipating this to be good. I'm actually expecting horrible things to happen, but <laughs> let's take a look. we go. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is just way too much. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I just want to see what that's at. That's going to be insane. I'm expecting ultra extreme intensity. Let's find out. We're definitely going to have to do some reworks on this thing, but that's okay. Oh man. It went around that first loop pretty nicely, and this part all looks good. Uh, it's just... Once it went down this, it had way too much speed. So, what to do about that? I am not sure. Yeah, it's not even that fun. It's just intense, so. Um, what can we do with this? Okay, we're gonna modify a little bit here. So I actually wanna put some brakes here. Although we still want them going decently fast. This might be some trial and error here, but. Actually, it most certainly will be. Um, I'm forgetting what I did now. I don't know how. So if I just do a, a corkscrew, actually, let me finish that. If I do a corkscrew, it takes me up from 11 to 14. So it's a three height adjustment. So I need to end this at nine, actually. If I want to do a the same thing I did. Inline twist and then corkscrew right. No. Maybe I need to be one higher. Inline twist and then corkscrew to the right. Yeah, except we're going to back this off by one. That should work. Take this back up to 10, not 11, 10. And then we'll do the inline to left. Have corkscrew right. Okay, let's give this one more test. If this doesn't work, we're gonna just have to finish it next time. Let's hope this goes a little better than last time.
better. Still not great. We might continue to make some more modifications on it next time, but we're running out of time for this episode, so I want to wait till we get our results back, and then we can at least build walkways. Even if it's not fantastic, people can actually see that it's going to be cool. No, we're going to leave it at that. I'm okay with that. That is a very intense ride, but actually, before we open it, I do want to add... We're not going to test it again, but we're going to add some brakes right here at the end, just like we did. Um, let's bring it down to 13, just like we did for uh, claustrophobia, because they are coming in pretty hot. And if the brakes fail on the station... Oh boy, we are in for some trouble. So, okay, let's quickly paint this thing. I'm going to do something kind of bright and in your face. That's very bright and in your face. How does that look like in our park? It stands out, and I like it. And I actually kind of like that. Let's try that. Oh yeah, that's even better. Can we do like a muted red? Ho oh, ho ho ho. That's cool. Is that any better? Yeah, I like that better. Oh man, this thing is... Intense. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. Those brakes. I like it. Uh, we'll do all in the same colors for now. We might change that later. But let's do that same yellow for these. And... Yeah. I like it. Alright, we'll open it up. We should be getting test results here any second now. At least I hope. Maybe. Possibly. Maybe not. Whatever. They will come when they are good and ready. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so six fifty. We'll do five dollars again, just because we don't even need money at this point. We are sitting pretty. Oh man. Okay, and then I'm going to be right back with you guys. I'm going to come up with a name. Give me one sec. Okay, I have come up with a name. We are calling this baby... Bezophobia. And for those of you that don't know what that means, I didn't know what it meant either. I had to look it up. Bezophobia is the fear of falling. Um, there's also something called acrophobia, which is the fear of heights. But just the fact that they are suspended, if that were to snap, if they were to fall off the track... That is quite a ways to fall. So, Bezophobia. I think this deserves some music. Not this, though. Not techno. That kind of fits. Rock music it is. All right, guys. This episode has gone on far too long. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed our Bezophobia build here. It is quite intense looking, but I like it. Um, sorry if it felt a little bit rushed. It was kind of rushed. Um, but we have August, September, and October left until we are done with this part guys so it is coming to an end in a hurry so i hope you guys have enjoyed watching and until next time have a good day <laughs>